What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. We are starting the day off. Well, we are at Tractor Supply. We got to get some, uh, well, we got to get geared up for it. it, it it's kind of like getting ready for winter when it's like, man, you really just got to like get all your eggs. What, what's, what am I, your chickens in, or, no, your ducks in one line. What's this thing? What am I trying to say here? Get, and, and whenever it's in a line, in a row, I, you got to get your together that's more or less what I'm trying to say so um this might be yeah I kind of well, that's a good to do it than this that's guy. A, that's a big daddy there so kind of oh is there insane. a difference that one might be smaller oh 80 bucks isn't as much as I thought it'd be to be honest with you yeah really? the little pole guys aren't bad but if you're not on flat ground they just start bouncing one of these bigger ones will work but so here's kind of the plan okay so long story short um we've got a gentleman by the name of Kirk he's gonna come deliver some hay he's come over to the house like one or two times he's he's like the hay plug he always brings the hay for us but he literally just said hey I have an animal named named Pedro that I got via trade. I didn't ask what he traded for it, but he said he got an animal named Pedro on trade and he wants to give it to us and donate it to the farm. And uh, that's exactly. all we know. So he's bringing hay because we're just about out of hay. He's bringing a whole load of hay and an animal named Pedro. And that's basically all we know. But we're sitting here thinking, we're like, okay, while we're waiting for Pedro to show up, what could we get done? We do need to seed some uh, more grass stuff in the pasture um, and kind of around the shop and stuff. The grass by the pond is starting to take pretty well. Um, so we know like just throwing it on top of it kind of works. And we thought, this would be an easy way to spread some fertilizer. Starting to see some dandelions. Can't have that. As you guys know, dad life coming up. No good dad has dandelions in his yard, okay? So you got to get that weed and feed, okay? It kills the weeds and feeds the grass. So I have a couple bags of weeds, weed and feed. We'll probably have to get a couple more, but I do want a new broadcaster because the one, we, the little green one that I have has some plastic wheels. And with as much dad things as we've been doing, fertilizing and spreading seed and stuff, like I feel like it's it, it's a good investment, honestly. It, it's worth it. And so we got to get that. We got to get some grain for the animals. We got to get the feed. We got to get that stuff like that. And then we're going to start hooking up automatic watering systems um that's one huge chore you know every single day i gotta go make sure everything's got water if you hook it up on automatic you do not have to go down there every single day you just go down there every few days and make sure it still works so last year we had automatic waters for the chickens um, so we can get it for like the poultry pen and then we'll have automatic water for the big animal and so we gotta hook all that up so we're gonna again today's kind of a chore day and then all of a sudden kirk's gonna show up with a guy named pedro and that's about all we know as far as what we're doing so we're taking you guys into tractors by see what they got we're gonna start just buying some stuff feed the the fertilizer or the grass seed, all that fun stuff, and just start doing farm work. You guys stay tuned. Oh, that's a Mac Daddy, dude. See, you, you'd spread some seed with that. Yeah, let me let me get this sucker down. That, this might be the one. I'm telling you, that's the guy. I have he's that guy. It's not that bad. Oh, dude, this is the deal. I oh think. God, yeah. Dude, goodness. Dude, this thing is massive. That's the old dad life right there. Dude, but it's like chill. Like, you could cover so much ground with this thing. Is it hard to push or not really? Not really. Kind of just cruises? I mean, when it's full, I'm going to be getting it. Like, going up a hill, no shot. No, you got it. But, like, how often are you going up hills? Not that often. You like got a lot of hills. I do have a lot of hills. But we have, we have a little one for that. Ideally, I'd get this one and that one, but I feel like that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. How much more does this one hold? So 70 pounds versus 120. Dude, that's a lot. That's a huge difference. That's 55, almost 55 double. pounds. It's almost yeah. double. So if you're doing like long stretches, this thing I've got nice. a lot of yardage to cover. 125 pounds, dude. It's bigger than the one on my ATV. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, uh, my ATV that one, one does not like hold 30? It. Yeah, probably like maybe 80 or 100. Eesh. I don't think my ATV one holds this. This big daddy. I mean, to be honest, it's only 130 bucks. I say only because I've spent a lot more money on stupider things. Well, I say we get compared it. Compared to 80. I say we get it. Worst case, get that one too and just use this for like, like this would be great in the backyard. Perfectly flat. It's like a football field, right? So this would be good. But then if you're going up and down hills and stuff, you might want something smaller. So we already have a small one. So let's go ahead and get the big Mac daddy. Oh, I like this thing. Weed and feed. This stuff is only, why did my voice just crack? Is it puberty? This voice has a- This Sad stuff's only $35 and like the Scott's Turf Builders, like 60 might be, maybe, should we do a side by side? You big turf what if we, what if we go down one side of the lawn, like on, on the two rows, you know, one along the fence and then one along the, like by the trailers, um, like along my drive, along my driveway? Yeah. You know, there's two strips of grass that we mow. Uh -huh. What if we do one with this and one with the other and see? See which one works Think about better? it. Dude, if you're saving people $25 a bag, that's a good point. Okay, we're gonna do it for you guys, okay? We're gonna go on one side with the cheap groundwork stuff and go on one side with the name brand Scott's Turf Builder, which I already have and that's what I've used before and it works, but it's literally almost double the price. So we're gonna go down one side and down the other and I probably won't be able to tell you guys for a couple weeks which one's better, but I mean, if the cheap one works, that's what I'm here for. So we got one bag of the cheap stuff, 1,500 square feet, how far, how much is it? Probably should get two of these suckers. This will cover all the grass that goes down the side of the driveway, at least, if not more. I think we're gonna fill up two carts. We, might. we still got grass. We still got a seed. We're doing good though. Shoo! 
And we're back, folks, from Tractor Supply. It's getting close. It's actually working out good because we're going to try to do some grass seed and fertilizing. And all that stuff like that works really well uh, right before rain. I, like, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, but you're supposed to just put fertilizer down like on a day like today in the afternoon and then all of a sudden tonight, big old storms rolling through. So we got everything figured out. Lucy's got, uh, uh, she's got a wash mitt for car washes or something. I'm not sure why she's got that. But over here, we got everything kind of unloaded already. Ready to go. The Mac Daddy of spreaders. I mean, I feel like it can't get much crazier than that. Like that's, I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna give you guys an honest review because like it could be just like way too heavy and bulky and stuff like hey, that. Don't go over three ten. mile an hour. Really? Yeah. What do you think I am, Usain Bolt? That means you, if you do three mile an hour, you yep. get 100 feet in 30, 23 seconds. Really, that's You'll good. be zooming, yeah. Really, okay, oh, yeah. so granu granulated fertilizer, th setting at three to five at three mile an hour. Is this and it should And it should spread, uh, eight to ten foot good lord that's gonna so be pretty much one path one one down and back so um like so i bought two different fertilizer we'll do the fertilizer first um that to me that's the most important just make sure the grass grows and we don't get them freaking dandelions i've already seen a couple but we've got one row here and then we've got one row on that side and so we'll probably what i've got two bags of the new stuff and then a couple bags of that so what i'll probably do is do the cheaper end stuff on this side and do this patch and then that and then i'll take the nice stuff and run it along that back side and then i'm gonna take the nice stuff since i know it does work i just don't know if it's worth the price and i'll do my front lawn back lawn and stuff like that and then grass seeding um there's like a spot by the trailer kind of back there up against the shop and on the back side and then inside the animal pen um in there we're gonna throw some down and then within a week we'll probably throw some fertilizer on it, some nitrogen like i don't know whatever is 30 zero 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 i don't know what i did last year but basically it greens it up gets it all grown and then we can set the animals out in the pasture so start things off you ready i'm ready okay well we're gonna get it loaded up with let's do some fertilizer you want to do uh so it well how many is 40 80 so we should be able to put both of those in there and still have room isn't that kind of crazy to think about really it says 125 right i'm pretty yeah. sure it's 125 so you should be able to do both of those and i don't know what was that 1500 square feet i don't i don't yeah, I, about 15 000. 15 000 square feet oh yeah okay so is the hat the hatch is closed yeah so then you that's yep. open I okay 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 oh, oh or something like that wait do what what's it oh what's yeah. going on oh is that the the that's like how fast you go but it just it does that so you can see that i guess really I i'm okay. not sure i didn't okay it. all right well give her give her a pour let's see what 40 you need a key knife there you go buddy yeah, you. we'll see what one bag kind of looks like here so gra oh it tells you for grassy too that's kind of nice uh so set flow gauge to number zero position push the off control to off move tractor and spreader and or spreader to flat service for fill and spread refill read the chart okay granulated fertilizer three to five and you got it set at i gotta put a four is that is that it yeah because that's where your thing hits it's not the oh 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 i see, see? okay oh. four okay okay all right give, give, give her, her yeah dump? give her a dump well oh, that's weird looking fertilizer it looks like Fourth Weird. of July. Dude, that looks like freaking dipping Dots. Look at that. You want to give some a try? I'd give a big old scoop of that. Yeah, I don't looks, know if I do that looks delicious. Are There's you no sure way. Two bags? There's no way that it can. Well, we'll do one bag just to see how far it gets. No what, way that holds. Two if bags. I run out down there, you just have this bad boy right. Or actually, you can bring a meal. Meal's already out there. I mean, to the brim brim, maybe 125. But I mean, that's 40. I don't know, dude. 80 would be pushing. I don't know about this whole 125 thing. But I'll start mm -hmm. with this. You have that fertilizer bag in the meal ready. For the, I'll, I'll give you the old, we need hand signal. What's the, old, a, what's the refill? The old call over. Refill. Yeah, you like yeah, that? The old, yeah. the old refill. All right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It feels, I mean, I don't know about adding a whole nother bag. I mean, it's a, it's gonna be a heck of a workout. I can tell you that much. I, I think a down and back would probably do would do good on this. Pool Jet, he's ready for refill duty. He's also gonna keep track of how fast I go. So, three mile an hour, that's the goal. Oh, oh keep boy. going, boy. We're going exactly three. Get. Oh, dude. We're almost out. Really? Number one five, you're hauling. I don't, this might be too much. That wasn't 1,500 feet. No, 15,000. That was not 15,000 feet. <laughs> okay, we got it set on the wrong thing. I walked maybe 75 yards, <laughs> and I'm out a bag. So that's 75 yards, 225 feet, yeah. and 10 feet wide. Yeah. 2,250. Yeah, I think think we did something wrong. We're on a we're on a too heavy of a setting. Two. Oh, it got moved to 10. Oh my god. You didn't tighten the lever down. I tightened her down. You were rough on it. Son of a gun. We were on 10 mode. 
I just went through $40 worth of fertilizer. Oh, hang on. That's because I was jacking. Quit being so damn rough on it. They didn't tighten the bolts. Which this one? whole thing, watch. Oh my. How does that work? Alright, fertilizer one, me zero. I just went through $40 of fertilizer in like 10 feet. They didn't tighten the bolts down, so this whole thing just don't, they just don't work. All right, 10 minutes later, we gotta put it back together. Should be good, shouldn't move. I should open this, and fertilizer should dump. That seems about right. All right, now we're going. So five, it was three to five, right, is what yeah. it said? And you're on five? Yeah, five's, five's not bad. Okay, so okay, I take back what I said. You just gotta put it together, and it's actually not bad. Yeah, look at these dandelions, and crabgrass, and all sorts of junk. That's what we're trying to prevent. So we got some already growing, but it should stop the rest from spreading, hopefully. Hook it up the old ATV one might not have been a bad idea. I'll keep, keep keep the old dad bot in check. True. This is too much work. Yeah, oh, true, yeah. yeah. Oh, downhill is much easier. Is this proper technique? Holy! Whoa! Hey, hey! How are you doing there, buddy? Got in the dookie. Hey, you know what's funny? Pick him uh, up. My dog. My Is dog. Ear pro? Out ear pro, yeah. That'd be my yellow one. Fred! Here you go. Hey. Whoa, 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 brother. Big Fred. How's old Fred, huh? Hey, how you doing, Fred? Give him a lick. Really? Does that mean I turn into a princess or something? Yeah. Or? Yeah, kiss him. That's what it is. Oh. Give him a kiss. He's a cute little guy. Here you go, Fred. Big Fred. You got it. All right, half the yard done. Time to do the other half. And honestly, okay, it is more expensive. It was like, what, 50% more expensive, 60% more expensive? But that was a 40 pound bag and I still have, it's a little chunky. That was actually last year's bag, so I kind of yeah. understandable. I mean, we probably went through 25 to 30 pounds of the 40 pound bag versus the other side got 80 pounds. I, you, whether that was because of me not knowing how to use this thing, yeah, probably, but I would still say, I don't think 40 pounds of the other stuff would have done this. This stuff seems more like a powder. Um, I'm not sure why this whole vlog is revolving around fertilizer right now at this point, but it, I don't know. For some reason, I'm leaning towards the, the Scott Turf, the name brand stuff, just because it's powdery. It is windy today though which doesn't doesn't uh work in our advantage because it's just kind of blowing everywhere which is why you need rain because otherwise it just kind of blows around so anyways we got that done next thing we gotta do is we gotta seed this with some grass seeds you can see we got one of these issues here which this was i mean been over a year and grass never grew here last year we had some like weird thatchy looking stuff and i'm not trying to make this look like a perfect lawn but try to get a little bit of seed down since we know that it kind of works try to get some down over there and then back you can see where the animals are you probably just take your little hand broadcaster and just like chuck it over the fence but maybe get some grasses to kind of grow there um before the animals come up and start munching so with that being said you guys stay tuned <laughs> got everything seeded, fertilized. I still gotta do my front yard back here, but this is not a uh, lawn maintenance video. Even though, like I said, becoming a dad here soon. Gotta, gotta perfect the lawn. Can't have a bad looking lawn and be a dad. It's just against the rule. So everything's good. Rain should hopefully be showing up soon. Um, get the fertilizer, doing fertilizer things. I don't know about that grassy that we put out there, whether it takes or not. I don't know, it was it was worth a shot, I guess. I just like wasting money on grass seed. That was like $25 of grass seed. Probably won't do a whole lot, but anyways, we're gonna run down to the animals, start working down there, trying to get the automatic feeders and waters and all that jazz set up and then hopefully Pedro will be here soon. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, so everything up by the house is done. We got the fertilizer down, the seed down, everything. What's going on here? Lucy! She's watching the pigeons. Lucy! She's doing better though. She's not barking at it. Because she used to bark and be annoying and do- jumping on it or nothing. She's just, she's just analyzing right now. Mm -hmm. She's just big chilling. Well, anyways, we've uh, we got everything done from up here. Hopefully Pedro, yeah, Pedro should be here soon. Oh, look, we got more eggs. Dude, holy crap. We got, we got six eggs now. Really? Yeah. Look at that, one, two, three. We gotta start picking these suckers up. They're getting, we gotta get them to start laying them in like, 
like more centralized location though. Right now they're just dropping her wherever, giving her dangle wherever. But, um, so, well, we should feed these guys. We got, actually, there's a little bit of grain left. Probably enough for today. And then we've got to hook up. We're gonna hook up the automatic water there. We're gonna hook up automatic waters here, get the feeders done. Again, we're trying to make it to where it's a little less work and time consuming to, to take care of these guys. So I, we still come down here almost every day, but like if I'm out of town or we forget or whatever, I just don't wanna, I just make sure nobody's dying. That's basically it. So how's it going, buddy? Hi, bud. What you doing, big boy? What you doing? Are you hungry? Yo, you hungry, buddy? Yeah, you're hungry, huh? You want some food? Let me get you some grain. All right, I'll get you some grain. Here you go. I'll get you a little pile right there. We got a little bit over Quattro. Come over here. We got a little bit more. There you go. Ralphie, what are you trotting for, buddy? You want some grain, big guy? What you up to? You ready to meet Pedro? What if Pedro's another camel? I highly doubt that because whatever he's got, I don't think can fit in a trailer unless it's riding the hay bales, but. Carol, hang on, buddy. Greg! Greg, your friends are alive. Here, Greg, there you go. Here you go, Carol. Carol, right here. Right here, buddy. Just for you. Rick, be nice to Carol. Rick, be nice. No, Rick, be nice. Ralphie! Hey! Come here, buddy. You got some right there for you. You want some? Llama, 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 llama. You, hey, you're gonna get spit on. Look at that, isn't that so cute? They're sharing a trough. You guys are little lovebirds, aren't you? I seen you over there giving her the old googly eyes. Steve! What you doing? Steve, look at Steve. He's so small. He came over, he's like, hey, you guys got any grain for me? Steve, right, right over here, buddy. Steve, there you go, buddy. You want me to pet you? Oh, Steve, no! Let me pet you, Steve. You're close. <sighs> he don't like me. Oh, Lucy, hey, how's it going? Why I thought, is she I thought, wet? I thought a goat got out. I was like, wait, <laughs> who is this? Whoop, whoop. There you go. All right, they're fed and taken care of. Let's get the automatic water hooked up. Boom, automatic waters, folks. This was one from last year. We just bought one more new one. And this will ensure everything's got unlimited fresh water all the time. Good in the summer. The reason why we don't do this in the winter is because it'll freeze your, your hose and your water line and stuff, so it kind of sucks. But the chickens and pigeons should be able to jump up on it, perch up, and get a drink. Let's see if it works. Oh, I got a leak on this one. Oh, what the hell? They're both leaking. What the hell? It off. Why is it leaking right there? Yeah, we don't need this little do do hickey deal here. I don't but, know what that's for. Maybe to keep it straight so it doesn't kink. I don't know, but it, it, it's it's a leaky son of a gun. It's like our duck pond, you know. It just gives, it just gives it hell. Red, these are brand new. This is such a good idea. God. All right, now try. As tight as she'll get. That's as tight as I can get it with my hands. Now, still squirting. Oh, watch out! She's getting me wet. If you read the instructions, it'll probably help. We're good. Yeah. You just had to read the instructions, and then it, once it's full, it stops. No leaks. Hell yeah! All right, one down. All right, we got one. We got four minutes. Four minutes out. Pedro is. What do you think it's gonna be? My guess is like a goat. Like a baby goat like, or something. Yeah, like a baby goat. I don't know what... What would you name Pedro? What kind of animal? Pedro? I'd name a goat Pedro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, let's see how this goes here. Miller, Mil 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 are you serious right now? Miller, you're blocking the shot, Miller. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah! She's a squirter. But that's not that's not a leak. There's a difference between a leak and a squirt. That's a good thing right there. Pedro's pulling in. Oh, Pedro's here, boys. Pedro's here. I didn't see Pedro yet. Every time, it gets me every time. It's magical. Just real, look at look how happy these guys are. They're excited now. They got fresh hay. So the real question is, what is Pedro? They don't they don't know what Pedro is. <laughs> he just starts walking back to the truck. Oh my god, dude, we've been wanting one of these. Oh That's my your turkey. Gosh. <laughs> Pedro, huh? Do you got him on a trade? What'd you trade for him? Just buy him trade animals. Oh okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> we got we got Pedro here. Dude, we've been, we've literally been saying we want a white yeah. turkey, like a colorful one like this. You know if he's mean? Is he pissed? I mean, you're not sure. His head turns well, blue. Ro time. Really? Blue. Like blue. That's I've never cool. had a turkey that's changed colors. Yeah. Oh, 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 Illy, right out of your huh? hand then. Okay. What did you name him, Pedro, or did the other guy? Yeah. Have I just came up with it. I like it. I like no, Pedro. Yeah, perfect. it's staying. Yeah. Oh, he's definitely Pedro. All right, Pedro. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you in. want to put him in there. I mean, he won't. He shouldn't fly away. I don't. Yeah, we'll put him in here. They, they'll give uh, Greg a fry. Come on. 
You can get a flyaway. You, you look like you're a nice guy, aren't you? It is turkey season, though. He might start. He might start hearing them and get all wound up. There you go. You got it. Don't fly away, dude. He's a lot bigger than I thought. He looks. Look, he stood look, up. Look how tall he is. <laughs> you want to go that way? Go hang out. With, go hang out with the other guys. Oh, here comes Ralph. Ralph's checking him out. You see Pedro? That's too low to the ground. He can't. Yeah, see Yeah, he that. can't see that low. That didn't work so well. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not that good at mouth calling, no. Oh, 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 he, oh. he's scared. Ralph, Ralph, don't. If you're if Ralph scared, we're 100%. Oh, Carol's checking them out. It's so funny how they notice, like, not that, they like we've had new. turkeys before and they know he's new. Look at her. I don't think Carol's ever shown that much interest in, look at, oh, oh Carol, no, no, hey, hey, no, be nice, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Hey, Pedro's our friend. Carol, Carol, get, get the I've never seen her do that, ever. She's never done that before. Never in my life have I heard Carol blow like that and no, like freak out. Bad. Like of all the animals we've brought, never. Even, <laughs> dude, nothing knows what to do. Look at him, he's scared. We just need big old Greg. Greg, come over, they'll be friends, 100%. Two, three people, not two. Yeah. For some reason, you would think hay would be like a one, maybe two man job. Without banjo today, Jerry got his head stuck. Who got out? Dale. Then Lucy brought him back. Yeah. Dale got outside the pen. Lucy literally was like a sheep dog and just. She ah, did great. Got on him. So. It's her calling. Well, Kirk, he brought us a turkey and some hay. So shout out to you, my guy. Now, well, we got it. We got the chicken. Well, we our our uh, hose leaks a little bit, so we need some tape on it or something. But the chickens and what do we buy? Pigeons are good. Hey, you settle down, Ralph. Ralph. Oh, llama. I thought she was trying to mount, she him mount Ralph. Second. She was thinking about it. Ralph, really? you better get a bigger step ladder. Buddy. Anyways, we need to run up. We need to get the automatic water for the big trough. Um, but anyways, our our new animal is this guy over here. Pedro, you want some green grass, Pedro, buddy? What's up? Pedro's been big chilling over here. Come here, Pedro. No, oh, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Listen. Pedro, no, come here, Pedro. Pedro, ow, ow, Pedro. Everyone at home wants to see you, Pedro. Hey, Pedro. Oh, God. I have a black eye tomorrow. This is Pedro. Pedro Big Chills. Don't you, buddy? What do you think of Pedro? Oh. That's Pedro. So, uh, we hung out with Kerr for a little bit, and Pedro came and pecked us. It's gonna be a lot like Tom. Tom had quite the personality, if you guys remember Tom. Uh, he'd come over and peck at you, and hang out with you, and eat out of your hand, and chase you around. And Ooh, we got Big Piggy over here. Who's unfazed? What do you think? You like quat or what's the name, Pedro? Pedro. We got too many quat atros, atros. Yeah. Tros. Too many tros. Yeah, rows, o's. Too many o's. Carlos. Or something. Carlos. Yeah. See, way too uh, many o's. We gotta start changing up a little bit. But, anyways, animals taken care of. So the last thing we gotta do: install the automatic water on the big trough. So let's go ahead and do that and wrap up the day. What do you think, Dale? Automatic water, buddy. Fresh water all the time. You ain't gonna run out. Honestly, this big tank and that tank. Probably get, I don't know, like three days and then you gotta refill it, so. This should, in theory, work. Carol, what do you think, buddy? Excited? Dale's pissed. Dale, hang on, buddy. He's just licking the bottom. Hang on, I'll get you some water. Dale, it's gonna be all right. You don't have to drink that. Hey, Rick, no one hit Carol. Hey, no bumping horns. Dale, watch out, buddy. Sucker's getting filled up now. There you have it, folks. We got a new uh, turkey. Hey, Pedro. What are you doing, Pedro? He, he's hanging out. I like him. We, me and Cool Jet were just saying, this is like one of the animals that we wanted at the auction and didn't end up getting. We ended up getting pigeons that died. So, um, like a multicolored white, black, something that looks kind of cool. We never had before. And turkeys with personalities, they're like top three, in my opinion, for, for farm animals. Then you guys have a farm and you don't, maybe you don't want a camel or a llama. Like a turkey with a good personality is pretty tough to beat. They're pretty fun. They're entertaining. You kind of hang out with them. They're pretty social. I mean, usually, 
usually they kind of take care of themselves they go fly in the tree at night and they don't get kachowed ripped to tom we've had some casualties but um being in this big pen and we've got greg big goose greg over there he's hanging out in quattro defends every everybody from all the predators so anyways kind of surprise uh big shout out to kurt for bringing out the hay and pedro hope you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you in the next one and peace